So in this video, we are going to discuss about the leftover signals that is our first one unit step function. So what exactly the unit step function means? So you can write this as u of t equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and equal to 0 for t less than 0. So we can plot this graph as suppose this is at t equal to 0 and the time axis is going like this then a unit step function indicates that it is 0 for t less than 0 and it is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. But if you look at this carefully this is a discontinuous function at t equal to 0. So at t equal to 0 you cannot say the value of the function as 0 or 1 or in between that you cannot conclude the value but here uh, we are going to take it as t greater than or equal to 0 that means at t equal to 0 also the value equal to 1 but there is no uh, satisfying, satisfying or convincing uh, explanation for this because if you recall we are going to differentiate any function which is continuous but if you see clearly the unit step function is discontinuous at t equal to 0 but we are going to differentiate it with respect to t in every scenario that we are going to see but there is no convincing explanation for this why we are going to differentiate for the discontinuous function so let us leave that concept apart for the time being so now you can write this as a derivative of unit step function if you differentiate this with respect to t then you can obtain the impulse function so now simply from the derivation that we have done earlier you can write this uh, you can write the transfer function as the Laplace transform of impulse response so if the unit step response was given that is u of t then simply instead of impulse response you can write as a derivative of unit step response so for the system if this is the input that is r of t applied to the system of transfer function tf then you are going to obtain the output as c of t so if the input to the system is unit step function that is u of t then the response that is obtained can be called as unit step response so you can write instead of impulse response that is a differentiation of unit step response so if you solve this that is d by dt of unit step response and if you are going to take the Laplace transform then you can directly obtain the transfer function of the system similarly if you take the second function that is a uh, ramp function you can write this as a ramp function r of t equal to t for t greater than 0 and equal to 0 for t less than 0 so how the function will appear is it is 0 for t less than 0 and for t greater than 0 it is equal to t so this is the straight line that is passing through the origin so simply you can write if you double derivative to this that is d square by dt square of r of t then you are going to obtain the impulse function so instead of uh, this one single derivative if you write it has Laplace transform of d square by dt square of the ramp response that if you are going to apply the input to the system as ramp function then the response that is obtained can be called as the ramp response so that is ramp response if you differentiate double time d square by dt square of ramp response then you are going to get the transfer function so simply uh, now I think you can elaborate the same explanation for a parabolic function also that is if you differentiate three times that is d cube by dt cube you are going to write the parabolic as uh, y equal to mx square that is t square by 2 why I am writing this 2 is to avoid the constant that is if you differentiate this then 2 and 2 it will get cancelled and you will get a perfect function like this so if you uh, differentiate it with three times that is for the parabolic response and if you take the Laplace transform then you are going to obtain the transfer function so in this way by uh, studying about the impulse function carefully you can obtain the transfer function of different test signals that is a unit step function and ramp function and parabolic function so I already mentioned in the previous video that by the end of these two videos you are going to learn that why the unit step function is called as the standard test signal so if you recall I said that you call the unit step function as the standard test input
standard test input. Why we call the unit step function as the standard test input means practically if you see impulse response the function itself represents at t equal to 0 suddenly the value is very huge and for t greater than 0 or t less than 0 the value is 0. So in practice we cannot obtain the function which is practically as equal as we study in the theory. So this is not preferred as the standard test input because this is not practically possible. But if you see that unit step function can be practically achieved that its value is 1 and it will remain in 1 for some time. So you might come across the doubt that why then ramp function and parabolic function cannot be achieved. If you see that the ramp function will be like this that is the straight line passing through horizon. So the synchronization of value that is for x equal to 1 the y value also equal to 1 for x equal to 2 the y value also should be 2 for x equal to 3 the value also should be 3 so it continues. So the synchronization of the values that the both values should be same is very tough in the practical or real life scenario. So this is also not suitable as the standard test input because of the synchronization problem that we have to going to face in the practical situations. So you can also elaborate this as the parabolic function it is quite more complicated as it is extending to infinity very rapidly in the exponential form or uh, not exactly exponential that is in the form of uh, powers you can say that. So that's why we consider a uh, unit step function as the standard test input signal and in every problem uh, at maximum about 95% of the scope that are suitable for the real life situations are considered by taking the unit step function as a standard test input. So hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot and if you feel this as uh, useful then you can share to your friends and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.